The air joint bag can be used uh, to practice loose knees. It also can be used to practice actually being in the clinch, holding someone and delivering multiple knees, okay? So when we're gonna do the loose knees, what I wanna do first, start off first, is hands on the bag, and I'm gonna give the bag a push. Now, when the bag is coming back towards me is when I wanna come up, deliver the knee, and then put my hands back on the bag and push again. All right, so again, we push, knee, come down, push, knee, come down, push, knee, come down, push, knee. Okay, making sure when you come up for the knee, your hands are up, okay? You can extend the right hand out across or extend the left hand across, keeping the other hand at the side of the head, okay? You go to the left side, up, knee, come back, push, knee, come back, push again, knee, come back, and then push, okay? Last one now. When you're actually in the tight clinch and you've got good position, you control multiple knees now. So what I want to do is start off on the balls of my feet. I never want to be flat on the balls of the feet. When I come up, I strike with the right knee, I'm not gonna put it back down. After I strike, I'm gonna kick the left leg out, taking the same step, same spot where the left leg is. What I do there is I make my hips go out. Once the hips go out, now I'm gonna bring the hip back in to actually deliver the knee, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Always making sure when you kick the leg out, the hip goes out and then the hip comes back in. One other thing we can do in the clinch, we can spin the opponent, put them off balance and deliver a knee. So I've thrown two knees, I step to the side, I turn, I throw a knee, I step again, turn, and then knee, okay? And that's the teardrop bag. <laughs> <laughs>